Pledge of Allegiance, a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Six more days till summer break. We have a few yearbooks left to sell. If you would like to purchase one, bring $40 to Mrs. Decker. When they sell out, we cannot order any more. All laptops and hotspots will be collected on Friday, May 20th during homeroom. Please make sure you bring all devices that day. Welcome back to Word of the Day with Lance Conrad. Today's word is malodorous. Let me tell you a cheesy story. Malodorous means having a bad odor. The root words are simply mal, meaning evil, and odor, meaning, well, odor. So, malodorous could be used to describe a garbage can or a locker room, or in the case of our story, a 1,400 pound wheel of cheese. In 1835, Colonel Thomas S. Meekham was looking for a way to show his support for President Andrew Jackson. There was a tradition at the time of making a town cheese for special occasions. You know, every person would bring in a little bit of milk from their cow and they would pull it together and make a cheese wheel that represented the whole town. Colonel Meekham loved this idea and decided that anything worth doing is worth doing big. Later that year, Andrew Jackson received a wheel of cheddar that was four feet in diameter and weighed nearly 1,400 pounds, with a smaller 750-pound cheese for the vice president, Martin Van Buren. Remember, this is in the, day, in the days before re refrigeration. So for two years, this cheese sat in a White House storeroom and grew ever more malodorous. Finally, as he was leaving office, Jackson came up with a scheme to get rid of it, using the power of free food. He had it moved to the foyer of the White House and invited everyone to come and take a piece. Over 10,000 people descended on the White House and finished the entire cheese in less than two hours. And everyone lived happily ever after. Except that is for Jackson's successor, Martin Van Buren, who was left with the task of cleaning up. The cheese had been so big and so malodorous that people for blocks around the White House complained of the smell. Van Buren had to throw out the curtains and repaint the room before it was usable again. And even then, his troubles weren't over because he still had a 750-pound cheese of his own to deal with. 